All right, uh, good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here today. Uh, my name is Michael Bartholomew, and I'm the special education teacher for June. Uh, joining us today, we have June's mother, Selma, Miss Selma, uh, as well as Miss Chastain, uh, the education specialist, uh, Miss Gambardelli, school psychologist, as well as Miss uh, Gratzer, uh, our administration. Um, today's meeting is an important opportunity for us to discuss June's Individualized Education Program. Uh, or IEP. This uh, serves as June's initial evaluation where we'll share the current educational status, um, assess her needs, and develop a plan to ultimately support her academic and developmental growth. Before we begin, uh, I'd like to establish some meeting norms to ensure that everyone's voice is heard and respected. Uh, we're here to collaborate and make decisions that are in the best interest for June. Um, and please feel free to ask questions, share your thoughts and concerns, and participate in the discussion openly. Um, now let's move on to reviewing Jews present levels of academic achievement and functional performance or PLAAFP. Um, the assessment results uh, indicate that June meets the eligibility criteria for other health impairment. Um, her formal observations, teacher observation, input, and rating scales uh, results indicate that June presents with limited alertness in the classroom um, that adversely impacts her educational performance at this time. Uh, June's mom has expressed concerns about her attention and focus which we will address as we develop her IEP. Um, as we discuss how June's identified disability affects her involvement and progress in the general curriculum, um, we'll also consider input from her general education teacher. Um, and yeah, and as her assessment results indicate that uh, June presents with many areas of strengths regarding processing skills especially in the areas of verbal comprehension, visual spatial, fluid reasoning, working memory, processing speed, and visual motor uh, coordination. Um, her teacher shared that June is gregarious, which is a great word, uh, friendly and respectful to her teachers. Yeah, and uh, throughout this meeting, my priority is to actively listen to your concerns address any questions or uncertainties, and collaborate with you uh, to develop a plan that meets June's needs effectively. Your input is invaluable, and together we'll work towards providing June with all the support and resources she needs to thrive. Thank you.